Rimbastine with the 25. Yo, Sam, I'm getting a master's in education right now to teach high school English. I'm 28 years old. Any advance on teaching these younglings? All they want to teach me is how to teach black kids. Well, you better be paying attention because you're going to be teaching a lot of black kids. <laughs> ask, ask Brandon Buckingham. He said he hates that job. Yeah, he, he like showed up to work for a couple of weeks and he was like, I have to leave. Yeah, you might you might not Whole like degree. that job, brother. Whole degree. He's like, nope. Dude, I went I to go. Up. I went to I did a, a student teaching thing yeah. in um, at RISD, and uh, first of all, it was an inner city thing. And first of all, I absolutely nailed it because day one, yeah, I went in and this and I was like, so that's what that's what chiaroscuro means, and this little black girl was like. I don't like he added to. And I realized what it was about. And the next day I came in with printed out outlines of Air Jordan sneakers. And I was like, all right, y'all. Every one of y'all is going to be designing custom Air Jordans. So pick out your colors and get your Jordans designed. And they were, fu they were hooked. Yeah. They were dialed in. Oh, yeah. They were locked in. I'm going to do mine with the blue shit on it. That's fire. I'm going to do my, mine to go and be the whatever. The fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I got it right away. But there was this other guy. Yeah. So we would sit and talk about our experience teaching or whatever. And there was this guy whose name was Harrison Love. Whose parents, his, his parents were artists. His parents were like successful artists. Successful meaning they like made money somehow with their, their bad art or whatever. And, uh... We, would, we were talking about it, and I was like, yeah, I figured it out right away. I, gave, I had him coloring in Jordans. What'd you guys do? And, he, and he's like, this is like every college kid's like so hopeful and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. He's in there. He's, he's like, uh, uh, you know, I just don't understand. I was talking to him, and I was like, this might be your one chance. You have to try hard. Like he, was, he, was like, he took it like he was, he was in uh, higher learning or something. Yeah. Like he was in some movie where his... Him being like the the higher IQ white guy in this situation, he he's some he's somehow gonna lift these twenty kids out of poverty by inspiring them to f make art. <laughs> it was awesome to see. It was so awesome to see to get a taste of like <clears throat> that liberal shit up close and personal. It was fucking awesome, man. I love seeing that. And years later, like fifteen years later, like recently, that same guy. He got in trouble at like some super hippie communal art, art um, living area, like one of these places where you have to apply for a residency and then it's like stuff's like your laundry's taken care of because you're an artist or whatever, like one of these sort of higher end fancy facty, a sort of factual facty. information. Facty. Um, places. He got in trouble because his uh, bisexual, I'm not gonna say, it's, I'm not gonna allege anything. There was some kind of like, there was some kind of thing with a girl and a black guy at this thing. And he used like racial slurs because he wasn't like, some relationship criteria wasn't being satisfied for him. And he like got kicked out of this Play. It's just it's just such an awesome arc. Yeah. To go from like, I just want to give them a chance and hope that they can achieve their dreams if they only realize what art art really means, and they have to apply themselves and try hard. To like ten years later, be like, you didn't f you didn't f my girlfriend right? Holy some shit. Shit. Oh my god, man. People are so fucked up. It's awesome. Yeah, that's that's a, his full life story. That's a savage arc. <laughs> Yo. Yo, man. <laughs>